What's going on guys, it's Mod Mafia V1 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to burn a Grand Theft Auto 4 ISO episodes from Liberty City ISO disc. Okay, that was a terrible intro, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into our Grand Theft Auto ISO that you can either download from the Pirate Bay or any like torrent, um, but what you're going to do is right click on the first um, M. V L G T A A E and you're just gonna right click and extract here. I already went ahead and did that and I extracted them and then I moved them over to this folder. You'll get these two um files when you are done extracting. So now what you can do is you're going to go into your modding tools and you're gonna have to open up Xbox Backup Creator. So give me a minute to open that. Okay, once you're an Xbox Backup Creator, go to Image Tools, Image Browser, File, Open Image File, go to where you have your ISO, so let me find that really fast, right in here, and then open the ISO file. Okay, once you have it open, be sure you have your mods ready or your modified files for the Grand Theft Auto. I'm using Robotors uh, V5.9. I will not be using a script. I will just be using the mods that are right on it. Uh, so the DLC2, the vehicles, the common, and the Xbox. Okay, so first you're going to go to common.rpf and replace. Go to the desktop and go to where the modifications are that you have and replace it with the same thing. So I'm replacing the common with the modded common. And then press open, let this green bar go. When it's fully done, go to Xbox 360, replace it, and then open the Xbox 360 with the modded one and let that load. So give that a minute. Okay, and once you have um, that done, since this is going to be for the Ballad of Gay Tony from the episodes of Liberty City, you're going to see DLC2 right here. You're going to replace the DLC.RPF and DLC2. Remember that. Go to DLC2 wherever your mods are. Um, in your modded's thing, let me rephrase that. In your modded um, files, go to where it says DLC2 and replace it with that DLC. So just let that load. And then I'm going to find the vehicles really fast. So they're down in these files more, I think. They're right here. There we go. Vehicles.image. And you don't have to do these if they don't have them. Uh, like the vehicles, you don't have to do that. So I'm just going to replace it because it does have the vehicles with this. Okay, so let that load. Okay, so now you officially have your Grand Theft Auto um, modded. So let me just close that and then close image. And then exit out of the Xbox backup creator. Just exit out of it. Next, you're going to go into the modding tools and ABGX 360. I always put it through this. Um, I know a lot of people that don't put it through it, but I do always put it through ABXG no matter what ISO I do burn. I always put it through there. So then you're going to go back to your um, where your regular ISO is for Grand Theft Auto that you just modified and open that file. Go to options, select this top right box, check for any DVD style game data corruption. Go to auto fix, um, adjust SSV1 angle, um, select that. Make sure this is level 3, auto fix of stealth passes but ferals verification. Go to MISC, and then it has the all the regions here. Uh, it does tell you what it is. Um, select the region that you're in. I'm in the US, so I'm going to select the top one. And make sure it's not leave it the way it is. Add if doesn't exist or isn't valid. Change that. And then once you have all those settings, press Launch. And when you press that, um, this should come up. Uh, just let it load. 
Uh, this should come up. All these, it should say everything for the Grand Theft Auto. So, there's the estimated time. I'm going to pause this video and I'll return when it's done. Um, so, I'll see you guys when this stealth is done. Alright, guys, so I am. Alright, guys, so I am back and I just finished running it through Image Burn. Or not Image Burn, I'm sorry. I just got finished running it through um, ABGX. And you should get these red and yellow uh, messages saying game partition or partition um, four possibilities and stealth was verified by game that it wasn't. Uh, as long as it says split vid is valid, that is fine. The reason for the red and yellow is because the game has been modified um, from its normal um, way because you did modify it. So that's what the red and the yellow are for. So just press any key to exit. Exit out of ABGX and go into image burn. This is the last step of the burning pro or not the burning process, but the last step of making the ISO disk. So just let that load up. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to write image file to disk. In this little um, magnifying glass, you're going to select the where your ISO originally was, but now instead of selecting the ISO file, you're going to select the image file. Uh, it is a file with a disk in front of it with flames. It is the image file, not the ISO file. Um, it's much different in size, so yeah. So just open the image file, and all this should come up. Go to Tools and Settings. Go to Write. And I guess you can copy down these settings. It always works with me. I never change my settings. But the most important thing here is user specified. Click that. And make sure this is 1913760. Inspectors in LO. Uh, once again, it's 1913760. Then when you have all those settings down, and especially this and user specified, press OK. Go to write speed. Make sure your write speed is 2x. Nothing different or the files will not get burned on write. Make sure it is 2x. Once you have that done, you're going to press... You're going to insert to your burner a 8.5 dual layer Memorex or verbatim um, DVD or disc. Um, it has to be Memorex or verbatim 8.5 dual layers. To burn an ISO, there is no exceptions to that. It doesn't have to be Memorex or verbatim, but it does have to be a 8.5 dual layer disc. I did just burn my Grand Theft Auto disc, and that was my last disc that I had. But once you put the disc into the burner and it loads up, this will light up here. And you're just going to press the button. Uh, this little button here, this will turn into a button. You're just going to press it, and you'll start the burning process. Uh, once I started the burning process, just wait until it reaches 100 and it um, finalized. Fine. Okay. Well, that's this video, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.